What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another daily analysis here with DTA talking about AMP only. So hopping right into it, taking a look at CoinGecko.com, we can see that we are currently down 2.1%. AMP is floating around the four cents level, roughly around 0.048 and 0.05, right? Um, we've seen this happen for a few days, and um, this is all across the crypto market. But taking a look at, you know, some quick on-chain analysis, we can actually see that, you know, the amount of total holders for AMP, that is steadily growing. Um, yesterday, I believe we were at 26,000. Um, we can actually see right here, right? Uh, the 14th, we were at 26,750 holders. Today, we're at 26,795. So, you know, every day we, we do have new AMP holders coming into the market. Um, which is which is pretty good, right? We see that you know the awareness of of AMP is growing, and more and more people are accumulating um, during this short term market downturn, right? So um, taking a look at AMP's charts, uh, we can see that you know yesterday we did have this, this slight push up, um, and this was expected, right? Um, after we did fall out of our support zone just briefly, um, you know markets are bound to retest. Um, they're bound to retest the previous resistance, which we know for a fact is that the 0 0.063 mark here, um, also highlighted here and here, which was June 27th, right? So if we can manage to, you know, push back into this support zone, um, I think that we'll have some, some good momentum in the short term, but, you know, in the long term, we all pretty much know where Amp and Flexa is headed especially as you know crypto spend continues to be validated from our indirect competitors visa and mastercard um so that's what we have going on on the daily on the four hour right we can kind of see you know a little bit more in detail how things are going so we already know that we fell out of out of our market structure um you know the wyckoff theory of accumulation here um, has pretty much been invalidated at this point. And if we do continue to go lower, then, you know, there's this bullish crap harmonic pattern that we spotted um, earlier in June would be invalidated also, right? Um, so what do we see here on the four hour? Well, we see that we, we, we fell out of this market structure and we bounced at the 0 0.047 level, right? Um, which we called out would be our preliminary support. And, you know, we had a good bounce here, but, you know, the bull's momentum, it, it couldn't sustain to go up and retest the 0 0.054 mark, right? Um, we see that there's a lot of selling pressure, right? We have this right here. This is a bearish engulf, right? Um, this candle on the four hour um, is slightly bigger than, you know, this, this bull candle here, right? So... We knew that some sort of um, reaction was going to happen, and since it was a bearish engulf, um, it was bound to, you know, come back down to to retest um, to continue this this, this slight word uh, downward movement, right? So I think that in the short term, we may, you know, retest these levels to 0 0.047 and possibly come down to, you know, the 0 0.045 mark, um, but that that's just that's just in the short term. Um, it, it may last a little bit longer than we expected, but, you know, this is happening all across the cryptocurrency market, as well as the traditional stocks market, right? Um, we're just seeing a complete massive, like, red days and also red weeks. Um, and, and there's reasons for this, right? Um, we all know that, you know, our monetary policy is, is ruled and dictated by, you know, people in, in governments and, you know, different positions that make decisions about our livelihood every day without our input. And, you know, yesterday, um, you know, breaking news came out that um, inflation is above what uh, Federal Chairman Jerome Powell expected, right? Um, and we can see that, you know, there's been a lot of things going on, uh, a lot of discussions about inflation um, for quite some time. Um, but this was pretty significant in this article, right? Um, it says on Tuesday, the U.S. 
June consumer price index rose more than expected, jumping by 0.09%, right? And the rate of inflation in the last 12 months ended in June, climbed to 5.4% from 5%. And the last time prices rose that fast was in 2008, when oil hit a record of $150 a barrel. And you have to kind of, you know, ask yourself, well, what else happened in 2008? The housing market crash, right? Um, so, you know, this this isn't a friendly um, news article, right? This is uh, news to, you know, come out with, with a certain narrative, right? Um, for those who are familiar with what happened in 2008, the entire housing market crashed. And, you know, the, these numbers are sort of building a sentiment that um, we may be headed in that same direction, right? Um, but there are some ways to, you know, hedge against inflation um, and to also hedge against, you know, um, losing value from whatever you're trying to store. Uh, and one of those ways are to, you know, dollar cost average, right? Especially with ant. And, you know, the easiest way to dollar cost average with ant is to stake it. And, you know, I understand that staking may not be the easiest especially for new members who are entering the market, um, new retail investors. So, you know, we're gonna end today with, you know, just a quick video, a quick tutorial showing you all how to stake your AMP to earn passive AMP rewards on a daily basis, right? This is literally how you earn passive AMP um, to dollar cost average to hedge against, you know, this market downturn without you, without you having to put more money into the market. So um, if you head on over to AMP's website, right, the first thing you want to do is navigate down to this section where it says stake, send, and repeat. And then you want to click on learn how to stake. Now, this is going to take you to a page that is pretty much meant for developers. And, you know, we're, we're trying to get the, the Flexa and AMP team to um, make some improvements on their website to be a little bit more user friendly, especially for folks who want to stake. But, you know, once you get to this page, uh, you want to navigate down to the second section where it says getting started, right? Make sure that you read this um, because flexible capacity is just one of the first products where you can stake your AMP to earn AMP rewards, right? So um, flexible capacity, this is actually a hyperlink. So you want to click that, and then it'll take you to the portal, um, which is the Flexa network, where you can connect your wallet, where your AMP tokens are stored, in order for you to be able to stake those, right? So um, after you navigate to here, you want to click on connect your wallet. Now, there's going to be a number of wallets, such as you know MetaMask, Coinbase, Rainbow, uh, Trust Wallet, and you know Nas is safe. Um, the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have your AMP in any of these wallets, you know, so if you're using Coinbase, send it over to your Coinbase wallet. Um, if you're using MetaMask, make sure that you have the right MetaMask account currently hooked up before you get to, you know, the Flexible Capacity Network, right, because you can make more than one MetaMask account, right. Um, I'm a DeFi user um, natively, so, you know, all of my tokens are pretty much stored in MetaMask, so um, I'm going to click MetaMask, and then after that, you're going to see your wallet address appear here, right? Um, then you want to click on the right-hand corner. Um, currently, right now, I don't have any AMP in this wallet, um, but then you're going to see, you know, the two applications that are in capacity for AMP and Flexa, which will be Gemini and Spedin. After you see those, um, you have the option to choose where you want to stake it. You will get the same 3.89% APY for both the, both of the applications. Um, and then you just want to click on move and it will move your available AMP in your wallet to whichever application you choose. Um, after that, you want to pay the gas fees and wait for the confirmations. After the confirmations have been done, um, which is basically you moving your AMP from what's in a, what's in your available wallet to the applications and capacity on the Flexa network, you will see your available AMP being staked on the UI, right? So that's basically in a nutshell how you stake 
in the most simplest and fastest way and also how to hedge against you know this short-term bearish momentum that we're seeing across all of the markets not just crypto um but also in, in the stock market right so um that's pretty much what we have going on uh today with amp um nothing too crazy again guys um this is all happening in the short term nobody can ever be 100 percent about what's going to happen but you know um during days like these where you know we're just pretty much just moving sideways and you know there's uncertainty about inflation and our monetary policy just remember why you invested in amp remember its fundamentals right remember it's it's growing community um you know you can look at the amount of people who are you know accumulating amp on chain analysis with etherscan right so just hold strong to your investment thesis your investment ethos and you know in the long term uh patience investors will be rewarded all right so if you guys like this content don't forget to like subscribe and share with your friends and until tomorrow dta is out